Hey everybody, Don Strankowski here. I want to give you three must-do tips the next time you have an interview. Let's call it interview game day. You know, every pro athlete, before they even step on the field or on the rink or on the court, the game is often won in the mind before it's even won out there. So it's the same thing with you. The next time you have a job interview, you have to get yourself into what I call state. And state is a positive state of mind that's going to employ your confidence and passion for the position and enthusiasm. And these are all things that are even more important than how well you answer some of the behavioral interview questions and curveball questions that they're going to throw at you. It's all about how your message is delivered as opposed to the actual words that you're using in a job interview. Employers want to hire people who want to work there. They want passion and conviction for the position that they're applying for. So how do you get yourself in the state on interview game day just like a pro athlete does? Here are three things that you can employ that will guarantee you better success during your next job interview. Number one, eat a bowl of oatmeal 90 minutes before your next interview. Good old fashioned oatmeal. Oatmeal is a slow burning carb, which will give you sustained energy, not a sugar crash like maybe a candy bar or some allegedly healthy energy bars will. Oatmeal will also boost your cognitive ability and you will not bonk or crash during your interview. Number two, have a cup of coffee 30 minutes and 90 minutes before your job interview. Green tea is also acceptable, but something with some caffeine. There is quite a bit of data that caffeine will actually boost your cognitive ability, and you can employ this before your next interview. You need to find your zone regarding caffeine, because too little, you're not going to get the effect you want, and too much, it can actually make you even more nervous before the job interview. And number three, and this is what I call the X factor right here. Any of you who have ever been to a Major League Baseball game, you know the home team players always have a walk-up song that is blaring through the speakers probably for 10 to 15 seconds before they actually step up to the plate and face the pitcher. They do that for a reason, and the players get to pick that song. That song gets them into state. They get fired up. They get confident. They get in that in the manner of performance to really face that pitcher and excel. You can do the same thing. Before your interview, a few minutes before your interview, play your walk-up song, whatever it might be. Get yourself in the state. Emotion needs motion. So play the song, do a little shadow boxing, do a jumping jack or two, just don't crack a sweat because how you look during an interview also counts. But get yourself emotional for that particular interview and I will guarantee you will perform at a much higher level. So once again, to recap, it's not so much about the words and the $5 language that you're using during a job interview. It's about how you're preparing and how you state your case with passion. Make sure your body is set for performance and make sure your mind is set for performance during that next job interview. And I'll guarantee you will be the person crossing the goal line and spiking the ball and you will be the one that will win the job. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to reach out. We would love to hear from you. And feel free to comment below. What's your walk-up song? What do you do to get fired up and to get yourself into state on interview game day? We'd love to hear from you. Okay, once again, everybody, have a fantastic rest of the day and week. Always, always program yourself for success and know that you can do it. You can get over the hump. All right, Don Strankowski, I will check in with you later.